You think you are the center of the universe. Or another way of saying it, the world does not revolve around you. Many of us have heard this term before. And if someone's told you this previously, then I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> no, but seriously, this term has such a negative connotation to it. When perhaps most human beings view life through this way anyway. Most likely the person who has told you that the world does not revolve around you, they view life as though the world revolves around them. For as long as you give weight and you give importance to yourself and to your identity, which we do whether we agree with it or not, which we do whether we are aware of it or not, then you have no option but to view life as though you are the center of the universe. But here's the thing, this life that we live in, it will constantly pose different challenges, different moments of difficulty. We suffer. All of this is orchestrated in order for us to push ourselves to our limit, to learn, to grow, to become the best version of ourselves, to enhance the experience of life. But the problem with viewing life as though you are the center of the universe is that the way you will react to the natural challenges of life is that you will think you are a victim and that life is conspiring and working against you. But on the flip side, if something beautiful happens, you've finally gotten the thing that you've always wanted. You'll feel like you are living in heaven, like life is working for you. Now, what do you think? Is this a sustainable way of living life? We are constantly going up and down in this roller coaster. One moment we are going through heaven and one moment we are going through hell. But I'd like to take this time to perhaps propose an alternative way of viewing life. A perspective where you are not the center of the universe. But the main question is, how do you even view life this way? Well, we've got to investigate the perspective as though we are the center of the universe. The way I see it is that I am Hassan and I have all of these opinions. I have all of these things that I like and all of these things that I don't like. I have all these agreements and disagreements, all of these belief systems, the entire story that encapsulates me, all of the previous memories, everything that has been accumulated over the years. This we can call as Hassan or I or the identity. And so this is the thing that we hold as the center of the universe. And so looking at it this way, you'll begin to see that everything we really do is in order to serve this center, this core. And if we take a step further, if every human being looked at life this way, we can begin to understand why there is so much conflict, why there is so much unnecessary suffering. Now, if we look at this identity even closer, we can begin to see that there isn't really a boundary that defines where the identity ends or where it really started. Now, whatever has been accumulated in this perspective, if we were to compare it to the knowledge and the possibility of experience that is truly out there in the entire cosmos, then really the identity is a tiny speck in an infinite space. It's almost negligible. It's almost like it's non-existent. Now this is interesting because it presents to us the opportunity to perhaps this time lower the level of importance we give our identity. And in this sort of direction we can say that you are beginning to view life as though you are not the center of the universe. Through this way you are not the entity that is going through life anymore but life is going through you. You are not the center of the universe anymore, but you are a movement in the infinite number of movements in the universe. And you appreciate this place. The movement of your thoughts are no different to the movements of the clouds. The inhale and the exhale of the breath is no different to the way the trees sway to the movement of the wind. You'll notice that this way, naturally your mind brings itself to stillness, to peace very much like a pool of water that is slightly turbulent with many ripples. You are not able to see through the surface, but with this stillness, there comes clarity. You can now see through the surface. And the only way we can do this is 
to give less importance to the movement of our mind, to what we like, to what we dislike, to our opinions, to our beliefs, to all of it. Take a rest from being the identity, being what you call I, or whatever your name is. Thank you so much for listening. Feel free to share this to whomever you feel like would enjoy this stillness. See you next week.